Hello, my name is Jen Stewart, and I work for Buhlmann Diagnostic Corp, the United States affiliate and distribution partner for Buhlmann Laboratories AG, based in Basel, Switzerland. Today I'm going to show you how to do a stool preparation with the Calyx cap device currently to be used for testing on the Buhlmann FCAL Turbo and or FPALA Turbo assay. This video is meant to function as a training tool to review the details and highlight some of the important nuances to performing a stool collection. This video is not in any way meant to replace any portion of the Calyx cap IFU or stool test IFU. So please make sure to read those as well as the relevant application note and IFU relative to the analyzer and the assay in the country where you are using this test. I will now go over the components of the Calyx cap. The Calyx cap comes in a package with 10 Calyx caps per sleeve within the kit box. The Calyx cap is pre-filled with 5 mils of Buhlmann extraction buffer. The Calyx cap has two different ends one with a blue screw-on cap connected to the calyx body, and the other end of the calyx cap, the white grip, connected to the dosing tip, containing grooves that are meant to be filled with stool. The blue screw-on cap should not be removed prior to measurement. There's one exception for this, and we will discuss this later. The easiest way to get the dosing tip out of the calyx cap body is to hold the calyx cap upright, twist, and pull. Personally, I find it easiest to just hold it and push up with your thumb. Now that the white grip is out of the body, I can show you the grooves on the bottom and each side of the dosing tip. These grooves are meant to be completely filled with stool when you perform the preparation. This is a quantitative test and the calyx cap prepares samples in a quantitative manner. When the grooves are full, it equals 10 mg of stool and when you deposit this back into the calyx cap, you have a 1 in 500 dilution. Samples can arrive to the lab in many different containers, and as stool is not sterile, it does not need to be received in a sterile container. It does, however, need to be a clean container, and by that I mean without any additives or fixative. As do all biological samples, stool samples need to be treated with universal precautions. Before sampling the stool with the dosing pin, the stool should be homogenized with a wooden stick or an inoculation loop as best as possible prior to sampling. Stool is a heterogeneous sample and calprotectin is not found uniformly throughout the sample. Therefore, it is imperative to mix the sample as best as possible prior to sampling. If a sample has been received frozen, please make sure the sample has completely thawed and mix it thoroughly so as to avoid the water pooling at the top. Now to show some examples of how to sample, I am going to demonstrate with a solid stool. I'm going to pull the stool sample out of the container that it was received in and put a homogenized amount into a weigh boat so you can see the sampling procedure easier. In most all cases, one should sample directly from the collection device the sample was received in. You do not need a weigh boat. This is simply to show you a good sampling. I am going to open the white grip, pull out the dosing tip, and fill the grooves with stool. You want to dip the dosing pin into the stool in three to five spots, and then again, reinsert the tip into the calyx cap. You must fill the grooves completely. Simply covering the tip of the pin is sufficient because when I reinsert the pin into the calyx cap body, the funnel will compress the stool on the tip into the grooves and remove the excess stool. So when I reintroduce the sampling pin and I push it back into its final locking position, I will hear and feel two clicks. Now this is important. This is where I want to ensure that all the six grooves are completely filled with stool. If any of the grooves are not completely filled, please discard the calyx cap and open a new one and repeat the sampling process above. Here I may see some stool on the tip of the pin. This can be expected in the weight per mass calculations. I can see here that the stool that was on the pin in excess of the grooves can be found within the funnel at the top of the calyx cap. Please note when sampling stool, you wanna avoid any undigested material such as seeds, corn kernels, etc., and search to fill the grooves with homogenized sample. Sometimes we receive liquid and solid stool samples, which can be tricky, but are suitable with calyx. 
Again, these should be homogenized with a wooden stick or an inoculation loop as best as possible prior to sampling. Now I want to show you how to sample a liquid stool like as seen on the Bristol stool scale of six or seven. This is when you need to open the blue screw on cap. Again, when working with liquid stool samples, this is the only instance I would unscrew the blue cap before measurement. Before unscrewing the blue cap from the calyx cap, I want you to make sure to secure the white grip and sampling pin into the calyx cap body by pushing it into its final locking position. I will feel for in here a click. Once the white cap is secured, I will unscrew the blue cap and pipette 10 microliters of liquid sample directly into the extraction buffer within the calyx body and replace the blue cap by screwing it back on tightly. When pipetting liquid samples, I always make sure to avoid clogging the tip of the pipette with any non-liquid, undigested material, which can capture and not release the analyte. Now I want to show you how to sample a hard stool sample like is seen on the Bristol stool scale of one to two. When a hard stool sample is received, homogenization is difficult. If received in a clear urine cup, I make sure to press the dosing tip pin against the side of the container, pushing and rolling the tip to make sure the grooves are completely filled with stool. It is imperative to make sure all grooves are filled before placing the sampling pin into the calyx cap body, and you can secure the white cap and sampling pin into the calyx cap by pushing it into its final locking position. If, however, the stool does not stick to the grooves, or if after inspection you see that all the grooves are not filled, this is when you would discard the calyx cap and you would need to request a new sample. It is imperative that all grooves are full of stool to continue from extraction to quantitative testing, so if this cannot be accomplished, you would need to reject the sample. Now that I have my 1 to 500 stool sample, I want to vortex the calyx cap with the white head down vigorously on a vortex mixer for 30 seconds. Please note that you want to make sure that the calyx cap reaches a full vortex prior to starting that 30 second count. Then allow it to stand on the blue side for 10 minutes at room temperature. After the initial 10 minute room temp incubation, I again vortex white cap down. Then I look to visually make sure the stool has been removed from the grooves. If the stool has not been removed from the grooves, you would repeat the process of incubation for 10 minutes, vortex, and visually look. At this point, the stool is extracted and is stable at room temperature for some time, as outlined in your IFU. I tend to process a batch of samples in series so that when the first sample is processed, it sits in the hood until I have completed all the other stool samples and all calyx cap grooves are empty. Before proceeding with step five, please refer to the stability times in the IFU that comes within your Buhlmann assay and preparation device for specific processing times of samples. They do vary. Now that all my samples are completely extracted, I will need to centrifuge them before going for measurement on the analyzer. Centrifuge for 10 minutes at 1 to 3000 G with the white cap down. Personally, I always centrifuge at 3000. If I put my samples in the refrigerator overnight, I will remove the samples from the fridge the next day, allow it to equilibrate, vortex, centrifuge again, and then I will go on for measurement. I now have completed the introduction training video on stool preparation with the Buhlmann calyx cap. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Again, this video is not in any way meant to replace any portion of the calyx cap IFU or the stool test IFU. Please make sure to read those carefully and contact your local Buhlmann representative should you have any questions regarding the process and how calyx cap can help support total lab automation on your clinical analyzer and track system.